Let's jump right into the video. For the first trick we have, it's making the golden AK-47 shoot and reload automatically. This is very useful for farming coins because now you can shoot people without having to click the shoot button. My friend here is going to demonstrate it on how to do it first. Amazing, he can't talk so I'll say the steps out for him. First, equip the sniper rifle. After that, what you want to do is quickly switch the sniper rifle to the golden AK-47. This trick is much easier on a mobile phone. Too bad I'm on the PC. But don't worry, it's also possible on PC. All you need is an emulator and map a button to the golden AK-47. Alright I got it working, I think this trick is amazing. Now for the second trick, which is also very useful, is the shield trick. So not only would you be protected by the shield, but you can also deal damage to other people. That's two birds with one stone. What you want to do for this trick is go to a note and press shield and hand at the same time. Just like the trick before, this trick is also easier on mobile and you need to map buttons for this trick to work on PC. My friend is going to demonstrate the trick again. Boom, look at that, my bullets are blocked by the shield, alright it's my turn to try the trick, just need to map out the buttons real quick and there we go, it pairs really well with the minigun, now you're basically unstoppable, thanks to Velet for showing us these tricks. Alright for the next trick we have the robot bulldozer, it's not as useful as the previous tricks but I think this is pretty cool too, so first, spawn the robot, then use the shield emote to push the robot, as you can see right here if I try to push it normally I just go through the robot and nothing happens, but when I use the shield emote, I can finally push the robot, this would probably be useful if you wanna troll people and steal their robots away lol, I guess the shield could also block the missiles coming from the robot, imagine how annoying it would be for someone to just push your robot and you can't even kill them. I would probably rage and throw my computer away. If you're in one server with me and you use the robot, be careful. I might take it away with my shield haha. Up next we have a useless trick but I think it's cool and could probably use for builds. It's the golden play button trick. Speaking of golden play buttons, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My wish is to get a golden play button one day. Let's make it happen this year guys. So what you want to do for this trick is spawn a golden play button. After that, spawn a TV or any other object that has animations and put it behind the golden play button. Alright let's do the steps right now. As you can see, the animation is now in front of the golden play button, a pretty silly trick I found that hopefully could be useful for building. This next trick is also pretty useless, I call it the sniper camera trick, so basically what you want to do first is spawn something that you can sit on, after that, equip your sniper and use the scope, then, sit on the item and you'll have yourself a sniper camera, alright so for this example I'm going to use this pink couch because it looks cool, now I'm gonna use the scope of my sniper, press the sit button right here, and boom, now you got a sniper camera, and if you click the shoot button your arms and legs will disappear, the best part, if you zoom with the scope and unequip with the scope, your camera will make a zoom effect, pretty cool in my opinion, there's not much use for it though, I'll probably use it the next time I make an intro, you could also play pretend with it I guess. Dragon dude, do you have a target? Over. Yes, sir, I have eyes on the dragon dude clone. Very good, now exterminate it. Yeah that's about it lol. Next up we have a similar trick with the golden play button trick, I call this one the TV camera trick, that name reminds me of TV man and camera man from Skibidi Dee Toilet, this is also a useless trick too but I think it could make a lot of people confused, so the first thing you want to do for this trick is spawn a camera, after that spawn anything that has an animation again, like a TV, then put the camera slightly inside of the TV, I'll demonstrate it right now. These two TVs work by the way, take this camera right here, then put it slightly into the back of the TV, and you can see that there's the dancing doge. If you see it from the computer it looks like a fine video, you can trick people by putting a TV in front of their camera too, could also probably be used for some builds, I just think it seems funny and not a lot of people know it. This next trick is more like a secret than a trick but I'm gonna put it in the video anyway, it's the secret wings in one of the maps, so the first thing you want to do is go to the base 01 full map, this secret isn't available in any other maps, once you're in the map you want to go where I'm going, which is to that warehouse over there. Once you arrive at the warehouse you want to find a stack of boxes on one of the sides. 
once you're in the spot that I'm on right now, spawn a camera. Use the camera and put it inside those crates over there. Make sure to position it correctly. Don't put it too deep. Go back to the computer and you can see a purple ring hidden inside of it. This used to be an old secret but I guess the Chalowax developers forgot to remove it. Cause when they add new secrets they remove old ones. So if the Chalowax developers are watching this video right now please don't delete it. Also it would be nice if Chicken Gun has an achievement for finding these secrets. Or better yet, if you find the secrets you can get the thing for free. Cause right now it costs 300 coins in the shop which isn't that cheap. You're welcome for the idea Chalowax. Last but not least I'll be showing you guys two different codes you can use. The first code is for something that's not that useful. Here it is. Can you guys guess what it's for? If you guys answered emoji then you're correct. So basically if you type this into a sign with any emoji that you want at the very end, it'll show up on the sign. But it doesn't work on PC I think. I'm on PC and it doesn't work for me. Pretty sure it only works in mobile. Anyways, basically what you want to do is copy paste the code into sign like this and you should have an emoji. As you can see it did not work for me which is sad. You can also change the emoji size by changing the size number. The other code I'm about to show you is sort of useful. Here's the code and I'm about to show you what it does. So first you do the same steps as the emoji code and it actually forms an image of a square. I think this is useful especially for building because this can be used as the base or foundation of your build. All you need to do is follow the lines of the square and you can make stuff like houses. You can also use it for square decorations. You can even change the size of the square to your liking by changing the size number 2. Every chicken gun builder out there watching this needs to save this code right now. I might even use this trick for my next build video. The first trick is the trash bin trick. What am I going to do with the trash bin? Let me show you. The first thing we need is trash bin and vehicle. Oops, make sure it fits perfectly in the trash bin. Nice. Now, close the trash bin. And, write it. Nope. nope, it doesn't work. But wait, if you do this. Let's see. You will be able to do this. And you guys must be careful. And of course, this trick is not only for motorcycle. Close. Make sure to move the trash bin. And... It's cool, right? What happened if we use the flying vehicle? Close. Move or push a little bit. It works guys, and fly smoothly without making my head spin again. <laughs> and I'll name it, Dump Copter. What? What happened? Ahem, let's move on to the second trick. Mob can't kill if you're sitting. Yeah, I know it sounds funny and weird, and never mind. Let me show you, let's spawn the mobs, and I gonna prove that I am not invincible. Now let's try on the piano bench and let's sit. As you can see, the mob can't damage me. But the mob can destroy the piano. <laughs> Alright, let's try using a different seat, sofa. See guys? What if the mobs attack from the front? Um let me try again, let's try it with this stone chair. Now they pushing me. Hey mobs, I'm your king, go to me. Not push me. Ah. Lol, this trick kinda works. They first destroy the chair and then the player. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the third trick. Because the trick before, mobs pushing my chair. Now I will show you how to make mobs push your vehicle. Let's dive into the trick. For the first vehicle for mobs to push is... A tank. Don't worry guys, the mobs are going to be okay. Are you sure about that? And spawn the skeleton. Ride your vehicle. Poor skeleton. This looks so funny. Let's add more skeleton. Wow, awesome. Why is the skeletons pushing a tank? Because they want to revive the engine. Um? If they can handle a tank, surely, a tractor is a piece of cake. And the school bus too. 
not only pushing, but they can also lift it and cause rollover accidents. The skeleton get fired, let's move on to trick number 4. What happens if you, select the same gun while reloading? Curious, right, let's check this out. So, as the trick I said before, let's change into guns. This is normal. But, if you do this, reload, click on the same weapon. It's stuck. And now, Let's try another weapon, reload, and click the same weapon. It's cool right? Let's try using this in PvP. Let's start it. Bruh. Reload and click. Bruh. Well guys, I don't know if it improves the damage or not, but yeah, let me know if you notice any difference. Arrows get stuck in the new racing map. Huh? How is that possible? Let's find out. Alright, now I'm on the map grid and equipped with a bow. This is normal, like the normal bow and arrow, and nothing happens, but if you go to the newest racing map, RVP Track 4, still nothing happened, but nope. if you shoot in this way, see. Let's try with a crossbow. As you can see, when shooting on this side of the map, the arrows get stuck. Maybe there's someone. Ahem, must be my imagination. But guys, this trick is perfect for impressing friends or other players. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on to the next trick. This trick is a bit funny. Stepfather Mouth Stop Dancing. Whoa, let me tell you how. All you need is, piano, spawn any car, huh? and spawn the stepfather. Use the car to escape from the stepfather's mob. Ah. Then go play the piano. Okay, he's coming. Damn! As you can see, he stopped dancing for some reason, now this is either a glitch or something really off about this mob, but if he comes from the backside, he won't stop dancing and kill you. Kinda weird, let's move on to the next trick. Vehicle can carry snow and water. Maybe it sounds strange, but you guys can actually do it. Don't believe it, let me show you. So I'm now in the magic forest, where it's bright without any rain or snow. Let's spawn the car, and spawn snow, then also rain. And put the snow in the car. Nope! Huh? Wait, guys! Hey! Bruh! Let's try it. Nope! Wait, let me try it again. Let's try with another vehicle. Bruh! Nope! This trick is a bit tricky guys, so you need to be patient and careful. And find a gap to fit this object into the vehicle. And I accidentally performed another trick within the trick. Patience is the key guys. Did it work? Oh finally. It works guys. Damn? It's cool guys. Let's try with snow. Find the gap. Oh suddenly, the rain tool came out on its own. Maybe this trick works for just one tool. Let me know in the comments guys. Oh, it's in. Is it working? It's working, guys. Remember guys, patience is the key. Wow this was really so cool. Okay. Let's move on to the next trick. Instead of calling it a trick, it seems more like a glitch. And the first glitch is, Chicken Gun Extended Map Glitch. The first glitch is from, Dust Map. Okay. If from here, straight ahead this way. Spawn the slab, then go upwards. You'll be able to see it. Do you guys know where it is? Okay let me show you something. Let's try going there. 
So guys, this server is only used for fights PvP and many players have not noticed that there is an unfinished part. Yup, that's right, the place I just visited using the slab is the unfinished part. That's why there are walls here. You can also use the teleporter to enter it. It's easy right? But this part is inaccessible while playing PvP, so, you can't hide or camp here. And it is pretty much empty here. Let's move on to the next glitch. Shiloh House Snow Map Glitch. You must be wondering if there's a glitch here, let me show you. Head towards the area where there's a tractor, and stand right next to the red tree, then turn around. This is a glitch of this map, hope Chalox fix this glitch soon. No eyes. Glitch. Go to store, skins. Now I'm using chicken skins. And all you need to do is, click the TV skins, apply, then switch back to the skins you prefer. Hee hee, <laughs> wait, I can't see anything. And if you want to use other skins, you can still do it, and the method is the same. I still can't see. Okay guys, this is an extra trick and bonus for you all. Make stuff fly. The method is quite simple guys. This time, I used an iron structure. Just position it so it can attach to the flying vehicle, and try it. Ahem. Well guys, I don't know how to make something out of it, but you can try to create some cool structures, I guarantee it. Let's move on. In the Shiloh House map, there's not only a glitch, but there's something else. Is it a glitch, or perhaps a trick? No. This is not a trick or glitch, but more like a fact. If you jump higher, you will see a penguin. You guys must know that, but... Do you know that the penguin standing here, versus the one we spawn are differently? Look at this! Quite different, right? Especially from the height, but at least now, he had a new friend. So adorable guys, hand over you money! This first trick is called Bear Flower. I discovered from the comments before, he said you can use the bear mob and spawn the limit of spawns and try to make them shape like a flower, and when you kill them at the same time and fly up. It's majestic! Alright, let's try it! I'll use this trampoline to spawn them at the same time! Why I use trampoline? Yeah, I probably will die if I spawn them on the ground low! Yeah, that makes sense! Okay, I reached the limit for the mobs! Hey, that's pretty good! Let's kill them at the same time! I like this! This is cute! Well, that was pretty beautiful lol. Let's move on to the next trick. Okay, I also discovered this trick by Nazmaker in the comments. He said you can hit yourself by using the hands and aiming at your feet. What? Sounds cool. Let's do it. Wait. Where is my aim button? Why is it missing? Oh wait. Yeah, that sandwich is amazing. But hold up, I'm serious. Where is my aim button? We must stay focused, brothers. Let's try another mode. Bruh. It's still missing. Let's try clearing cash on chicken gun. Bruh. I don't know what's happening, guys. Okay. After a while I tried to figure it out, I can't fix it. But the good news is, I can still use the aim button. Is the aim button invisible or what? Anyway, let's try the trick shall we? Okay first, we need to use the hand, and then aiming it into our feet. Oh it works, it's pretty cool lol. Okay. The third trick is also from the YouTube comments. His username is, who the hell? Hey yo, what the? Anyway, he tried to tell us a cool trick. He said, first pick a gun that have a scope, 
and then press the scope, then press weapon selection and choose the gun you want, and now you have a scope and a gun that didn't have a scope like pistol, crossbow, and many more, okay, let's try it. I'll do what he said before, I'll try to use the sniper rifle that has a scope, and then while I'm scoping, I'll pick another gun, maybe this laser pistol. It should be works right? Oh, it works. Now I'm scoping with the laser pistol. Let's do it again. Using a scoped gun, then I open the scope, and now select another gun, maybe this time is the default SMG. It works. This is awesome lol. Moving to the fourth trick, in this trick, we can see a beautiful moon in the underground, and this trick is kinda hard to do because it was pretty tricky, let me show you. First, we go to the island map, then spawn the computer with a camera, and now grab the camera and put it underground like I do. Then put a slab near you put the camera before. And now put one of the teleports on the same spot too with the slab and the camera. Next, we enter the teleport and then... Voila! Pretty moon underground the island. Can we reach the moon? Let's try it. Vailp, we can't reach it lol. Moving on to the fifth trick. Um, actually this is more likely a fun fact than a trick lol, but yeah, I'll keep it in this video. Okay. Did you know that is a new item that has a bug after the new update? Let me show you. So these are the normal tree, we can shoot them all until they are disappeared. But, when you shoot at this new white tree, you can't shoot it. Even you can walk through it lol. Hey yo, what the- So yeah, these white trees are in bug right now lol. Pretty cool right? Moving to the next one, same as before, this is a fun fact again lol. Do you know, there is a funny bug with a golf cart. Let me show you. So, this is a normal car, this one too, this too, and even this motorcycle too. But, when you enter the golf cart... Bruh? What's happening with my hands? It's like jittering so fast lol. Even while you are driving, it still looks jittery. Pretty funny bug lol. Moving to the next trick, you guys already know that cat skins are can't use a beak right? But, what if I tell you that we are still able to use beak while using the cat skins? How? Let me show you, so this is the cat skins, Pretty cute lol. And the trick is, in the cat skins, you need to change the suits and then get back to the skins and choose your default skins. Keep doing it until you get the cat skins with the beak. Let's try to use the skin in the game. Yeah. It works. Look at me. I'm a cat dude right now. Lol. Moving to the next one. This is a hand color change trick for the cat skins. It was pretty cool too. So let me show you. First, you need to change your suit to the cat skins and then use the white suit from the cat skins. Then go to the in-game with any game modes, in this case I'll go to the offline mode to make it easier. Hello there. And as you can see, my color hands are pretty normal white with the skin. Then spawn the hoverboard and use it. Voila, my hands color is changing. Lol, pretty awesome tricks right? Moving to the next trick, in this one, you can make the price or apply button on the shop disappear. Let me show you. So this is a normal shop, the price or apply button is still in here. Now back to the lobby and then click the chicken gun logo right here to change the background. And then come back to the shop and voila. The apply or price button is missing lol. It's still missing until you restarted the game. Anyway, even the price button is missing. This doesn't mean you can buy the guns for free. Moving to the next trick, this is a hoverboard with a fridge glitch and it's pretty funny when you use it in the game lol, let me show you. First, you need to spawn the fridge, and then put it like this. Oops. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Yeah, put it like this, and now spawn the hoverboard, and open the fridge, then put the hoverboard inside the fridge. Um, let's try it again. Aha, uh -huh, like this. And now close the fridge door then use the hoverboard. Voila. 
It's so funny to look at this trick roll. Even when you are leave the hoverboard, it's still spinning aggressively roll. Okay. And now moving on to the last trick in today's video, this one is no less cool than the other tricks before, even this trick is looks funny too. Let me show you. First spawn the trash bin like this, and open the trash bin. Then spawn the Mr. Stepfather mob inside the trash bin and close the trash bin. Hey yo, what the? Bruh. Aha. Uh -huh. Now you can make fun with the Mr. Stepfather mob like this lol. No, no, don't do it. Yeah! Yeah! Even you can make the Mr. Stepfather mob flying like this. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I'm gonna show you, which mobs can do this cool floating thing. Oh no. Look at this mobs, these mobs float, while the others. <laughs> Not so much, hee <laughs> hee. That was close haha. -ha. Not only can float, but this spider can also make sounds like a metronome. I'll add one more. Wow. The sound is cool. Let's go to the second trick. You can sit on mobs. Yes, you heard me right. In this game, you can actually take a seat right on top of those mobs. It's like having your own personal mob chair. Let's try spawning Siren Head. If you're already at a sufficient height, jump toward above the mob and see. Bruh. I guess it doesn't work with Siren Head. Let's try with Huggy Wuggy. Once you're on top of the mobs, use this emote, the one and only chicken repair. Now, you have a cozy mob seat, you can also dance on top of them. This is fun. Um, be careful guys, this is a bit dangerous. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh wow. Uh, Whoa. There's my chair. Huh? Um, let's move on to trick number three. This trick will use this portal, but it's a bit different from the usual. When you get into yellow portal, you get big. When you get into green portal, you get small again. But, if you move the portal like this, then, you go into the portal. Dragon do what happened? Okay, let's see what happens. Bruh. I think there's some problem. Hey, let's swap the positions of these portals. <laughs> now you can stand vertically. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into trick number 4. In Chicken Gun, you can do two emotes at the same time. First, open the emotes menu, then, open the weapons menu, and what you need to do is press the both icons. As an example, I choose this one and this one. Um, I can't see anything. And next, get into any vehicle. Baba Bowie. Open the emotes menu again, select the second emote you want to use. Helicopter, helicopter! Paracopter, paracopter. Let's try with another vehicle. And now, let's choose this. Bruh. Oh my god! 
and that's how you use two emotes at the same time. Bye, have a great time! Alright, let's jump into trick number 5. Like trick number 3, but you'll be using this portal, and do it like this. Then make it higher. Let's try entering the portal. Because it's called Dino Flip not Dragon Dude Flip. I'm going to use a dinosaur. But now, let's try it with a vehicle. Bruh. Nope. Ah, never mind, let's go with the dinosaur. Nope, huh? White? <laughs> I'll try to spawn the dino while I've entered the portal. Okay, let's try it. Nope. Bruh. Okay, let's try again. Open the spawn menu. And then, shoot the dinosaur. Let's try. Nope. Nope. This trick gonna take some time. Maybe. Nope. 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 I was just trying to make the Dino flip too. Maybe it is not working now. Let me know in the comments, if it's working for you or not. I'll give it one last try. Nope. Wait, did you see that? Alright, let's try one more time. Maybe it works if the portal is higher. And let's see. Huh? Yeah. Finally. Note, make sure the portal is very high. Please help me. Lol ha ha ha. Let's moving on to trick number 6. In this trick, we'll be using this jump pad. Place the jump pad like this. Then add another jump pad next to it. Make sure it is placed well and neatly. Then add more. Nice. And make sure there are no gaps. The more jump pads you make, the more fun it is. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Baba Boy. It could be endless if you execute it properly. Should I try next? Skip it a button, Dad! Where is the bike? This is so fun. I think it's enough. All right, let's move on to trick number seven. Because it's not midnight yet, I'm going to set it manually. Go to settings. Turn off automatic time zone. Set time to 00.00. After setting the time, 
Let's visit the meat chicken. Oh my god, I'm scared. What you need is... This chair. Huh? You might be confused, let me show you. When he comes out, you have to sit on the chair as quickly as possible. Look, my health decreases if I don't sit on the chair. Let's try it again. See? Pretty cool, right? Lol ha ha. Anyway, let's go to the last trick. The way to get out of the map is jump pad. But it's not just one jump pad. Stack as many as you can. If you are done, get into any vehicle, but, I recommend you use a car and drive it toward jump pads. Have you ever wondered, what is the best way to earn coins in Chicken Gun? Is it racing? Or maybe duel? Or maybe some of you think Tanks TF is the best? Don't worry my friend, I am here to let you know what is the best way to earn coins and what is the worst way to earn coins in Chicken Gun. Okay, get it, let's go! So let's hop into the game shall we? Oh wait. Um, please wait a minute. Ah, much better. What was that? No no. You don't see anything. Alright, in today's video I'll test these 5 popular game modes for earning coins, and we will start with the racing mode. Let's go! First game already facing this map? Alright, it's okay, let's race! Ayo. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I think I finished one lap right now. But why? Okay, let's just continue. Okay, there we go. Finally get to the lap two. Which should have been lap three. Bruh, not again. First game already faced the worst map and now I'm facing a bug too. Okay, let's just continue. Alright, final lap, let's go. Huh? Are you serious? Okay, I'm done. My disappointment is immeasurable. Alright, finally another racing mode game. At the first game I got 5th place and earned an average of 58 coins. And then in the second game I got 1st place and earned an average of 79 coins. And now the third game. I facing this worst map again. Well, I have a bad feeling about this. But yeah, finally I don't face the bug and I got 1st place again woo. And also I earned an average of 144 coins. This map gives more coins, maybe because this map is quite long. So, you guys already know that racing is doing pretty good job of earning coins, and it's time for the plant bomb mode, will this game give us more coins that racing? Let's find out! Hello there. Wait, I'm sure that I hate this chicken so much. Wow. Does he's getting bad, or just AFK? I don't know lol. Okay, at the first game I got a win and I'm on top with a score 160, but I only got an average of 15 coins. What? 
And at the second game, I lost because they're defusing the bomb. I'm in second place with a score 20, and do you know how many coins I get? Yes. Only got an average of 5 coins. Are you serious? This is torture. Well, as you know, Plant Bomb don't give us many coins, but that mode was pretty fun to play lol. So it's time to the Elite Squad mode, will this mode give us more money than Plant Bomb? Let's find out. This mode is quite easy if you already know the trick. All we need to do is go behind this wall and grab the car like this. Then we just need to go up the car, and fly to the helicopter. Finish, lol. And we got an average of 83 coins, that was pretty good. Nice. Let's do it again, at the second game I did the same method as before. And then I got the same amount as before, an average of 83 coins, so I wonder what if I did it again for the third time. And yeah, I got the same amount again, an average of 83 coins. He was special. Okay, the Elite Squad mode really did not disappoint us, the amount of coins we earn also great, but how about the dual mode that we will test after this? Will it be better or not? Let's find out. Okay, I'll do the trick like I mentioned in my past video before, I'll use the jump pad trick, I think I will win this game so easily, lol. And yeah, a big win in the first game, I got the top at leaderboard with a score 70, and I also get an average of 25 coins in this game. So let's do it again. At the second game, I got a win again, and earned an average of 25 coins. And at the third game, I got a little bug. I just came to the server and then I just lost? But yeah, because of this bug we knew when we lost we got an average of 7 coins lol. Because of that bug, I just tried to find another match again. Whoa. He just left the game. <laughs> but yeah, another big win again, lol. And in this fourth game, I got an average of 25 coins again. Okay, the dual mode also not bad to earn coins, and how about this tanks TF, the last mode that I will test in today's video. Let's find out. At the first game I got 8th place with score 3 and earned an average of 35 coins. Then I tried it again for the second game. What's up? And now for the second game, I got 3rd place with a score 8 and earned an average of 50 coins. Hey, that's pretty good. Then I tested it again for the last game. And finally got 5th place with a score 7 and earned an average of 47 coins. Wow. Alright, this time for the summary and choose what is the worst and the best for earning coins in Chicken Gun. Disclaimer, these coins are an average of what I got in the game, you may have less or more than I have right now. And yeah, these are the coins that I got for each mode, and I already ranked them from the best to the worst. So, 
As you can see, the plant bomb mode is the worst method to earn coins, but that doesn't mean this game mode is not fun to play. I have played this mode and to be honest, this mode is pretty fun. And for the elite squad, this mode is the best because of the amount of coins you can get and how fast you can clear the stage. Okay, this trick is really easy and simple, all you need to do is change your suit rapidly like this. Then go back to the lobby and as you can see, my profile picture shows me wearing a blue suit, even though I still use my daily suit. Pretty cool right? Let me show you again. Now my profile picture shows me wearing a green suit, and yeah, I still use my daily suit like before lol. And now moving to the second trick, this trick is kinda hard to do, because you need to spawn Huggy Wuggy and direct it to the near of the wall. Let me show you how to do it. Ouch. This is the reason why I said it was kinda hard to do lol. <laughs> Let's try it again. Bruh. Okay, perfect. Now all you need is just stand close to the wall like this. Tada! The map glitch out lol. And if you walk a little, you can see Huggy Wuggy's face glitching out too. Pretty amazing right? Now you can try it and careful with that Huggy Wuggy. Moving to the third trick, now this trick is for you to always win the bomb mission. Why? Because in this map you can glitch under the map and shoot everyone, let me show you how to do it. You just need to come in this red house, and then walk through it until you find this hole. Tada! Now you are glitching under the map lol. Now let me try to show you in the actual game, just walk into this house like I said before. And yeah, just shoot everyone in here lol. Okay now the fourth trick, this trick is pretty easy and also looks cool. All you need to do is get shot by people. And when you are died, you need to change the camera rapidly like this. Now you can see that I'm glitching out the game lol. The name and the crosshair are pretty glitch out. Now let's try with a different map. Bruh? The number of surviving players is dwindling so fast. Come on, somebody shoot me. Are you serious? Wait what? Only one player left. Enemy spotted. Um? I just want to see how the glitch work in other map, but ended up being kicked low. Let's try it again. I'll do the same method as before. Well, it's just the same glitch. So let's just move on to the next trick shall we? Okay, moving to the fifth trick. This trick is for trolling someone, and it's also pretty funny. All you need to do is put the teleport portal like this. And voila, you already created a teleport trap. When someone tries to go inside this trap, they will get infinite loop up and down in this teleport portal. Help me! It's kind of funny to be honest, lol. Moving to the sixth trick, this trick is for you to fight other chicken in PvP mode, all you need to do is use this holy item called jump pad. Just spam spawn the jump pad while you want to shoot other chickens like I do in this video. It will make you harder to get shot by other chicken because you are always bouncing and moving with this jump pad. Hello there. Hey yo, what the? Pretty cool trick, right? Moving to the seventh trick. This is the coolest trick in today's video. Did you know that you can go to the secret island while doing elite squad mode? What? I'll show you how to do it. 
All you need to do is complete all the challenges, and then just wait the time ends. Another one. Bruh, the other chickens are leaving. We need at least one player to do this challenge. My disappointment is immeasurable. But yeah, I'll keep trying it by myself. Let's wait the time ends. A few moments later. Now when the time ended, you can go with a car or other vehicles like this. Voila! The secret island in the elite squad mode. Okay, moving to the 8th trick. Um, actually, this can be called as a fact than a trick, lol, but yeah, I'll keep it in today's video. Did you know that in Chicken Gun there are so many vehicles that invisible and some of them aren't? You can tell the difference by looking at the explosion. The normal vehicles will explode when you throw them into the lava. But the invisible vehicles don't. Pretty awesome facts right? Okay, moving to the last trick in today's video, this one is no less cool than the other tricks. All you need to do is spawn something that you can sit on, like a chair or even a motorcycle. And then stand near it until the door icon pops up like this. Now when you get killed in this position, you can immediately teleport to the chair or motorcycle that you get killed before. Let's try it again. He done it! Pretty awesome right? Okay guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.